Jackson students, staff, and families. Today is Monday, February 1st, and today is the 104th day of school. Today is National Baked Alaska Day. A baked Alaska has ice cream in the middle with meringue on top. You have to cook the meringue without melting the ice cream. That sounds kind of tricky, huh? Mm, but it also sounds really delicious. Guess what? This week is special for a few other reasons too. So stay tuned for some information about this week and this month. The weather today is possibly snowy with a high of 37 degrees. Hmm, sounds cold. So let's check in on our high B days and musical Mondays. Over the weekend, Solvay, TM, and first grade celebrated a birthday. Today, February 1st, Malachi BT in third grade, Marasia DP in fourth grade, and Miss Autry all celebrated a birthday. Happy birthday, everybody! Hey, Claxton leaders! It's February, which means it's Black History Month. Black History Month started in 1926 as a Black History Week, established by the Association for the Study of African American Life and History, led by Carter G. Woodson. It was expanded to Black History Month in 1976. It's important because we honor current and past Black leaders in every field and throughout the world. It's celebrated not only during the month of February, but all year long. This month, we are going to focus on deepening our understanding of Black history. Then we're gonna learn about Black leaders here in Western North Carolina, and lastly, we're going to celebrate Black Lives Matter Week. We are excited to learn alongside you throughout this whole month and throughout the year. Good morning, Claxton leaders. Welcome to a musical Monday morning. And thank you, Mr. Garrity, for reminding us that February is Black History Month. I want to begin today by reminding our Claxton students that you have specialist lessons at 11.30 for kindergarten, first and second grade, and at 12.30 for third, fourth, and fifth graders every day, Monday through Friday. We want to see you all there. And a big thank you to those of you who have been coming to your specialist lessons. We're missing the rest of you. And I'm sending out this special invitation because during February, we're going to be learning about some of the great music from our country, the United States of America, from the 20th century. Now, we're in the year 2021 now. You know that. That means we're 21 years into the 21st century. But the century before this was the 20th century. We're talking about the years 1900 to 1999. It was one of the greatest times in all human history for music making. And there's many reasons for that. But let me quickly mention two of them. In the late 1800s, just before the 20th century started, humans figured out how to record music, how to capture sound on recordings so it could be listened to later. Now that changed music forever because it meant that musicians could start hearing all kinds of music, not just music they would have heard from musicians around their home or in the place they lived, but music from all over the country, from all over the world, all types of different forms of music. And it caused new music forms to happen. The other important reason that music from the 20th century is some of the best music ever made is because of the contribution of black musicians. African American musicians contributed to the development of so many new forms of music in the 20th century, it's really hard to name them all. I mean, we're talking about ragtime and jazz and blues and rock and roll and soul and rhythm and blues and hip hop and rap on and on the list goes. Join me in our music lessons this month, Claxton students, so we can learn more about the great contributions of black musicians. I want to leave you today with this great painting. It comes from the year 1893. That's just a few years before the 20th century started. It's called the Banjo Lesson. 
And to me, it really shows the magic and wonder of how music is passed along from one generation to the next. And it also reminds me that one of the greatest contributions to American music was the black contribution, the contribution of African Americans. So enjoy this painting and come join me in my music lessons this month. I hope to see you there, Claxton Leaders. Claxton Leaders, did you know that today is the first day of National School Counselor Week? And do you know who our school counselor is? It's Miss Brittany. And even though it's her first year as our school counselor, she's been at Claxton for three other years as our school-based therapist. So I put together a top 10 list to show how amazing Miss Brittany is. Let's see what my first two are. Number 10, Miss Brittany. Loves Baby Yoda. Everything she does is like, Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda. And I love Baby Yoda too. So, oh my gosh, <laughs> Baby Yoda, uh, you're here. Um, you must have heard me talking about Miss Brittany and just showed up because we all love Miss Brittany so much. Number nine, Miss Brittany's office. It's amazing. Did you know that she collects all of these toys? I have never seen so many toys. Oh my goodness, sometimes I sneak down here and play with them because uh, who doesn't love playing with toys? So check back in tomorrow and I'll share two more reasons that Miss Brittany is awesome. And you can share reasons too. You can draw her a picture or send her a video message on the Claxon Announcements Google form. All right, I'm ready for some jokes. Gus has three jokes for us today. How did the baker get so wealthy? He made a lot of dough. <laughs> what do you call a king's sore throat? A royal pain in the neck. Did you hear about the wizard who became a film director? He really made movie magic. <laughs> Great job, Gus. All right, Claxon leaders, I'm ready to read some golden tickets. Miss Kohler would like to give a few more golden tickets today to Sawyer R for working hard during his small group to decode and blend new words. You rock, Sawyer. For Scarlett L for always being thoughtful, inquisitive, and trying her best. And one for Finley H for never giving up, even when learning gets a little frustrating. I am so proud of you. Miss Lauder is giving one to Caroline, a golden ticket for always showing up to her small groups on time and eager to learn. Way to go, Caroline. Miss Ashley is giving one to Riley in because of her hard work and perseverance during morning meeting. While reading, she didn't give up even though it was difficult and felt frustrating. She took deep breaths, spoke up for what she needed. Way to go, Riley. Miss DiBiase would like to give one to Aiden P in Miss Kickert's class for working so hard in CLX help and not giving up even when the work is sometimes difficult and confusing. Way to help keep the end in mind and keep up the work, great work, Aiden. Claxon leaders, during the month of February, we are focusing on habit five, seek first to understand, then to be understood. Winning through leadership means listening to others with understanding and acknowledging their needs. When we seek first to understand, our eyes and our ears are focused on the needs and ideas of others. I can't wait to explore this habit with you this month. Claxon leaders, have a marvelous Monday. Now it's time for the Claxon Pledge. At Claxon Elementary, I am a leader. I pledge to live the habits, value the arts, and celebrate our highest diversity. I work hard to learn new things and always give my best effort. I show respect to others and choose to be a leader in my community. I am attentive, responsible, thoughtful, and safe. I am a proud and dependable Claxton B, even when no one's watching me. Remember, you and your family can send in jokes and golden tickets and shout outs to our email account and we'll include them in the announcements as soon as we can. 
The email account that you should email these to is clxannouncements at acsgmail.net. You can also submit to the CLX announcements by filling out the Google form on our remote learning website.